Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss Ethernet as a wide area network technology. So originally Ethernet was a standard to create local area network only. So for instance, there are some users who are close to each other, then they created a local area network by using Ethernet link between them. But with improved technology, Ethernet was also standardized by IEEE as a wide area network technology. Wide area network means if the users or the computers are far away from each other, then in between them or to connect them, we can use Ethernet as a link between them. So in our previous video, we discussed that if you want to connect these two points which are far away from each other, then lead line was an option. But in addition to lease line, we also have Ethernet as an option to create this wide area network. So Ethernet emerged as a WAN technology, and IEEE gave us a standard of 1000 base LX, and with this standard, we could create a, a network having a radius of more of about five kilometers. And there is also another standard that is 1000 base ZX, and with this, we can have we can create a network having radius of more than 70 kilometers. So we also have other standards as, as well, but in this video, we are going to mention only these two standards. And in this case, this 1000 shows that these standards actually support 1000 megabits per second, and this X actually shows that to establish a wide area network using this standard, optical fiber is used. So by using optical fiber or, or fiber links, we can create the wide area link or the WAN link between the nodes. And so Ethernet as a WAN technology. Today we can have Ethernet as a wide area network service provided by some service provider. In this case, you can see here, these are two networks, only this is one network, this is second network, and we have this service from this point to this point service provided by some service provider. And this service, Ethernet when service by service provider can have different names with it. But the thing is that the customers are the users. For example, in this case, these are the users. So this user is connected with the fiber Ethernet link. So from this point to this point, from this point to this point, we have this fiber ethernet access link on both of the sides. And these customers are connected with this point using router interface. You see router is there to connect these customers with this fiber link. And this fiber link, so this fiber link on this router is further connected with the service pointers location. So these are the service pointers locations, and these locations are also known as point of presence. So these are the point of presence. And in most of the cases, the service pointers use Ethernet switches there. So Ethernet switches are there, and these Ethernet switches are connected with the routers, and routers are connected with the customers are the computers. Now, we are going to discuss Beta basic Ethernet wide area network service. And this illustration below represents a basic Ethernet service, uh, Ethernet WAN service. You see, from this router to this router, we have a fiber in between them, and these are the ports, or the interface. These are the interface on the router. So this is Gigabit Ethernet 00 and Gigabit Ethernet 01. So these are two interfaces. And this basic Ethernet service actually logically, it behaves as a point-to-point -point connection between two routers. It means one source and one destination. So this is a point-to-point -point connection between the routers. And physically, it behaves as if a physical Ethernet connection exists between the router. So logically, this is a point-to-point -point and physically, this gives as an, an, an illusion that there are Ethernet um, connection between the routers. So this same basic Ethernet service can have different names. So first name can be Ethernet WAN. So this is just to differentiate it from the Ethernet LAN. We specifically call it, we can call it Ethernet WAN, wide area network. And 
the name second name this can be ethernet line service and uh, this is the term used by metro ethernet forum and metro ethernet forum is, is basically an industry alliance and that deals with ethernet network and uh, ethernet services and this same basic Ethernet service can also be referred to as Ethernet emulation. And this term implies that the link is an emulated link. It's not a literal Ethernet link. It means this is the emulation link. So, and the final we can refer to is a, as a Ethernet or MPLS, so Ethernet or multi protocol level switching. And this term actually refers to the technology which is used to create Ethernet service. So these are the different names for basic Ethernet service which we are going to discuss in this video. After discussing that, let's discuss how the how the packets are forward, forwarded from one local area network to uh, another local area network using this wide area network or WAN technology. And that is EOMPLS WAN, so Ethernet over MPLS, which we are going to discuss as a, as a basic Ethernet service. So what happens, for example, in this situation, we have this user and that is connected with router R1 and this is R2. This user, by using some application, interacts with this application layer and generates the data. And this application layer, by using these different layers, hands over that data to the network layer and that network layer hands over the, that data to the data link layer. Now this user, what it does, it takes a packet from the network layer and with the help of the data link layer, it adds header or ethernet header and ethernet trailer on top of that. Now this ethernet, so the data link layer creates a frame and this frame has a MAC address of R1 because this user is connected with this router. So this, this ethernet header as a address of router R1. Now this router once received this frame will remove or decapsulate uh, the frame. It means it will remove the Ethernet header and Ethernet trailer from that. And now this router has to forward this frame to router R2. So this is R1 and this R2. So this router will encapsulate that Encapsulate means it will add header and trailer on, on top of that. And now this Ethernet header, this Ethernet header will have a destination MAC address of R2. So in this case, this, this header will have a MAC address of this R2. So by, by following this address, this frame will be forwarded to R2. And this R2, after receiving this frame, will decapsulate the frame. It means it will again remove the header and trailer from this. And now this packet has to be forwarded to this user, to this computer, or to this network. It means now this router will encapsulate this packet by using ethernet header and trailer. And now in this ethernet header, we will have, an, we will have a MAC address of this computer. So in this way, the data will be generated from this user on this computer network and this will be forwarded to this router and this router will just encapsulate the frame and forward that frame to this router and this is how the frame has been received at the final destination. So this is all for Ethernet as a wide area network service and uh, I also have a video on Ethernet. I'm going to put the link in the description and I hope this was a bit useful for you. And thank you, thank you very much for, for your time.